Hello everybody again, it's Lloyd from Blackpool Air Rifles. Uh, this week we've got three new items on the agenda, uh, so we're going to get straight into it. We've got a couple of uh, rifles and we've got a uh, really interesting new scope. Uh, the first one might not appeal to everybody, but I think it's quite, um, it's quite an important rifle for us at Blackpool Air Rifles because we have been struggling for a little while with finding really good junior rifles. Um, it seems that a lot of junior rifles are built down to a price to the point where things like triggers uh, are very poor and not really suited for juniors and I find it difficult to actually find something of reasonable price uh, that a junior can handle without having to go to uh, the expense of something like a HW30 which obviously if you've got the money the 30 is uh, probably one of the best sort of you know late juniors teens rifles on the market in my opinion in fact a lot of adults buy them and they love them but um, this uh, this isn't about the uh, the 30 because uh, I think everybody knows how good Virax are anyway this is actually about um, this new thing which is the Browning M blade um, we've not we've just literally got these today uh, we've like I said we've struggled in the past with quite a few junior rifles but we really um, we were really struck actually with some of the uh, Browning's uh, all the adult Browning's finish and quality uh, things about them. So this is uh, is really nice. Uh, basically, the M Blade is a junior rifle. Um, it is available. Well, we've got these in 177, but I think they're available in 22 as well. Wouldn't recommend a 22 anyway because the velocity just wouldn't be high enough. Uh, 177 is going to be a better bet. Nice things I like about the M Blade is, apart from uh, little things like you've got the automatic safety catch. Um, You've got an anti-bear trap so the gun can't be fired when the gun is cocked. You've got fully adjustable sights, uh, which are the, um, the little fibre optic sights as well. So they're, they're lovely to, to look through. Uh, the trigger's actually quite surprisingly good, actually. Um, Consistency is all right as well. We've tested these. Um, they're running about 550 with an average weight pellet, um, which is more than adequate, to be honest with you. But they shoot well, um, and, and that's a really important consideration for any junior rifle. There's no point buying your kids something horrible that they're not going to get on with, that they're not going to like, and they're not going to enjoy. They want to be able to hit the targets. Uh, good news as well with these is at the moment uh, they're going to be 89.95 retail. Uh, which I think is um, an excellent buy. So if you've got a, a, a youngish lad, probably not suited for the very youngest. Um, you know, I would say probably about maybe 10 years onwards would be absolutely perfect. So if you've got a, a young lad looking at getting into shooting, don't want to spend too much money. Um, have a look at the Browning M blades. Um, I'm sure your local dealer will probably have them as well. Uh, so take a look, see what you think. But I really like those. I think they're, they're an absolute corker. Okay, so that's the first one. Uh, we'll get to the, um, we'll do the scope next. Now, people will probably know that we've been selling Cornus for a little while. Uh, Cornus is a fairly new brand on, 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 well, to the UK. It's not a big brand, to be honest with you. Not a lot of people are stocking them at the moment, but I took a look at them a couple of months ago and I really like the Cornus. Uh, well, this, this, is, this is a new one. Uh, this is the Cornus Pro AS34, which is basically a 2 to 6 magnification, 28mm front lens scope. It's a, it's a 30 mil tube, um, it's electronic milled up, um, it's got basically blue or red, easy to operate, I'll just give you a quick run on it. We put it on a Leshy because it gives you an idea, is a very small rifle, a lot of people are buying bullpups and, um, and they want something sort of tiny, lightweight and useful without losing quality. I think this is a scope, it's really nice. Um, basically what you've got is like I say, you've got a 28mm lens, you've got the standard up and down left and right uh, turrets, uh, you have got a battery compartment with an on or an off because um, most of the adjustments are made at the back here. Very, very simple. Um, you've basically got, um, you've got the off switch there, you've got a plus and a negative uh, minus sorry which is for uh, the illumination levels I can't remember the levels to be honest with you. I think it's about seven or eight something like that but um, it, it's 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 great because it goes from virtually you can't see it at all to, to surprisingly bright uh, the top one there actually changes the color uh, it'll go like I say it'll be blue or red and and another little gadget that I really quite like I'll just take that cap off is uh, when you switch that on you can see or hopefully you'll be able to see it's actually got a spirit level in it an illuminated spirit level I've never seen one of those before and I think that's really groovy uh, yeah, all right, you know, some people might say it's not of much use, but actually, you know, the spirit levels are quite handy for making sure that you don't count your rifle. So, you know, nice little gadget, looks really cool. Um, and overall, because it's a Cornus as well, you've got decent quality lenses. Um, 
the, the, the lenses are actually Japanese, so you know, you've got uh, excellent quality lenses and a nice little compact size and only £149. So if you've got a little compact ball pup, uh, oh, by the way, you've also got a couple of Picatinny rails on the side, so you can put you know, your gadgets on, your torches, your lasers, whatever. Um, but if you're looking for something small, lightweight and compact, uh, with decent quality lenses, mill dot reticule, illuminated, blah, 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 that's, that's a, uh, definitely one to look out for. Again, uh, no complaints about this one. Um, it, it actually does seem to be really good. I've had a look at it. Uh, we sold a few already, people loving them. Um, so Conus, uh, I think they're on the up to be honest with you, and they seem to be producing stuff that people want, so cracking skull. Um, last but no means least for today, I better just clear the decks, you'll see why in a minute actually. Um, we have a new rifle, completely new rifle to us from Hatsan. Um, I think there's enough space. So here we go, uh, this is... <laughs> yeah. That is the Hatsan Hercules. Um, yeah, right, okay, where do we start with the Hercules? Um, okay, well, as you probably noticed, it's got two 500cc bot bottles on it. Um, I think these were obviously designed uh, originally for uh, high power. Uh, and I think they list one at around about 30 foot pounds and one at around about 100 foot pounds. And the 100 foot pound one gives you around about 65 usable shots. Unfortunately, I went on the website this morning um, and, and, and thought I'd just find out how many shots it does in 12 foot pound because I'm sure it's going to be a million or so. Um, but Hatsan don't actually quote for the 16 dual version at all. So we've no idea yet how many shots. And to be honest, we've only had it about five hours, so we wouldn't have been able to shoot an entire charge through it anyway. Uh, but it's got to be in the hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of shots. It will be interesting. I don't know whether I'm going to have enough spare time to actually find out, to be honest with you, to shoot this from, from full to empty. Uh, and to be honest with you, with me um, hurting my back recently, I don't actually know whether I've got the back muscles to even be able to do it or not. Because this thing... So I don't know whether you... I don't, can you get... Is he not in shot? Uh, is that in shot? That, right, okay. No word of a lie, this rifle is gigantic. I mean, really, the, the, the joke seems to be that only Hercules could actually use this rifle. But basically, if you're like 7 foot plus and 25 stone and you do a lot of weight lifting and you want a lot of shots out of a gun, this could be the rifle for you. Um, it's, it's definitely interesting. Um, I mean, I'll hold it. Okay, I, I don't know. Again, I don't know whether you can see that. But this, I mean, that's actually hurting my back, to be honest with you right now. That's, that's, that's pretty uncomfortable. Um, but, you know, despite the fact that I might be a wimp and I can't handle the weight, which is, like I said, 13, 13 pounds in weight, so it's over twice as heavy as the M-Blade, nearly three times as heavy. Um, there are a few interesting features. Apart from the, the, the twin 500cc air tank, uh, which will be ideal if you do get stuck on a desert island, you've got a, a gigantic rotary mag. Everything seems to be completely oversized. You've got a gigantic rotary mag. It's, it's, it's the side lever cocking. Um, you've got a manual safety catch on it. Um, you've also got this Q, uh, QE, which is something like quite efficiency. Um, uh, well, it doesn't work basically, but it, it, that's what they're calling it. It's a quite efficiency silencer. I mean, we fired this this morning, and to be honest with you, it, it's, it makes a it makes a noise. Uh, in fact, actually, I pro I can, I'm sure I can fire it. There's nothing in it, by the way. I'll just fire it safely down there, and there's quite a bit of um, it's quite a bit of mechanical noise as well on it. Actually, the, the, I suppose really it wasn't too horrendously noisy, but there's a lot of mechanical noise, and that sort of seems to uh, produce a lot of resonance and um, it, it, I, I wouldn't say it's the, the most pleasant rifle to shoot to be honest with you. Trigger's a bit average, price is great, you know, I mean like I say if you want something that, that does a lot of shots and you don't want to spend a fortune, we're going to be selling these uh, for £569, um, which I, I, I guess is, is you know, is <laughs> It's, no, well, it's, it's cheap really because of the, I mean, the amount of metal you get alone, you could probably weigh this thing in and actually get more back for a scrap. But you know what? Um, some people are going to absolutely love this rifle, I guess. Um, it's, like I say, it's not my cup of tea, but you know what? Uh, I can see that it may have its uses. Um, standard rail on it. Uh, triggers so-so. 
We have noticed a couple of issues with the, with the finish on it. In fact, we had this problem with the Gladius as well, whereas um, the, the, the anodised alloy on here is sort of cloudy. Um, it, it, I, it, it seems to be a standard thing, to be honest with you. Like I said, we had a, quite a few Gladyses like that, and we ended up having to send the Gladyses back because of the finish. We have noticed exactly the same as that. Maybe we've just got a one-off on this one, and, and obviously we're going to speak to uh, Edgar Brothers and see if that can, uh, if we can re get the shroud replaced and uh, get that sorted out. But um, yeah, in very, <laughs> very interesting rifle. Like to hear what you think about it. To be honest with you, um, do you think it's going to sell? Uh, would you be interested in something like this? Are you big enough to, to, to handle something like this? Would you want it if you were? Uh, yeah, that's the, uh, that's the hat sand. And don't get me wrong, I'm not, I, I don't knock hat sands um, in general because I absolutely, I think the AT44 is fantastic value for money. And one of my favourite uh, rifles of all time uh, for the money is, in fact, we've got one up here. Um, and that is the Edgar Brothers Model 60, which is a Hatsan EB60. Um, and that rifle is, is about £120 retail, and that's absolutely, uh, that's a, an amazing performer. In fact, at this moment in time, I'd say if you're going to spend £120, that's probably the rifle to, to do it. It's even got the Quattro trigger unit, which um, was actually fitted to some of the Webleys, so it's got an extremely good two-stage trigger unit, produces about 11, 11 and a quarter foot pounds, uh, automatic safety catch, really accurate, walnut stock, you know, um, just just a lovely rifle. So, like I say, I, I am a Hatsan fan, I just, just uh, the Hercules doesn't make an awful lot of sense to me, but, um, you know, like I said, I'm sure there'll be people out there that, that must like, well, I'm sure will love it. Uh, okay, right, well that's, that's it for today. I haven't done the Leshy video by the way yet. I did promise to do a Leshy review video. Um, I busted my back a couple of weeks ago. Uh, wasn't in the mood to be picking anything up to be honest with you or going shooting. So I apologise to all the guys about the Leshy video. Um, what I can say as well about the Leshy is that uh, two of the lads in the shop have actually tested them and uh, they were getting about penny piece groups at 50 metres and they said even at 70 metres it was still grouping reasonably well. Uh, the overall feedback has been absolutely fantastic, but like I said, I did promise to do a, a review video myself and I do want to test it, so uh, as soon as I, I, I'm, I get the opportunity, I'll get out there with the Leshy and give you um, an honest appraisal of the rifle. Uh, just a point as well, if anybody's got, like, uh, who's, who's put deposits on the Leshy, we're in communication with Edgun all the time. He um, seems a really cool guy, to be honest with you. He's really, um, he's really keen on us getting them. Uh, they are going to be officially imported, obviously, you know, they're coming direct from Edgun. Um, the guns, the first batch of guns are on the way, um, which, is, which is great news. Now, I don't know how long it's going to take because it obviously has to get through customs and etc. But, you know, if you've got a deposit on a Leshy, don't panic. Um, you, you're going to get it and you're going to be really impressed. Um, OK, that's it for now. Thank you very much for watching as per usual. Uh, hopefully I'll get another one done next week and uh, I'll see you soon. Bye. Andy? Can you give us a hand moving this Hercules off the counter? <laughs> well, if we, get, if we get two at the front and two at the back. <laughs> it is actually, it is actually at my back when I pick that rifle up. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> I'll pick this one up. Right, that's it, lads. Uh, oh, actually, I'm going to put that on the right there.